distinguished uh, guest of honor who will come up on stage and uh, to give us more details of the oh, S uh, SP, SP Award. E &P Award. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the president of Chevron Thailand Exploration and Production Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Pyrot Gawiyanan. Thank you very much for the uh, kind introduction and uh, invitation by the organizing committee so that I can be with you tonight. Uh, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and pleasure to have an opportunity to uh, address the keynote speech tonight. I think every, everybody in this room would agree with me that uh, today our energy industry faces uh, several challenges, very broad challenges, of course. I will start with the very first one. Uh, today, global uh, world energy demand is continuing to rise. The global economic downturn during uh, 08 and 09 resulted in uh, contraction in global energy demand. However, the long-term demand outlook remains very strong. The global demand is expected to rise over 30% by year 2030, led by uh, emerging economies. Despite all the effort to dominant, uh, uh, to promote the alternative renewable energy sources, fossil fuel, where we stand today, will remain uh, very dominant energy sources. So to meet this new demand and replacing production declines, significant new supply will be needed. The industrial uh, nations such as the United States are pursuing policies to increase tax regulatory burdens on oil and gas industry while seeking to reduce the oil consumption and carbon emissions. Producing countries are stiffening terms and exerting greater control over their resource to extract additional revenue from international oil company or so-called IOC. So access to new resource uh, remain very challenging. Uh, competition for resource is increasing globally. As a result, IOC are turning to front frontier and high cost area in some instances, uh, relative low margin opportunities to secure new resources. National oil companies from China, India, and other emerging economies are aggressively acquiring resources around the world. And last but not least, safety and environment performance standards become much more stringent and are priorities among public stakeholders. All energy companies, both uh, IOC and National oil companies are expected to operate safely, reliably, and environmentally responsible manner in order to earn license to operate. Oil spill incident these days, especially if it's spilled on water, regardless of its size, it will cost you a lot and impairing your long-term operability in any location. It doesn't matter whether it's in Brazil or in Thailand. So we expect the, the public scrutiny will be much, much more stringent in the next decades or beyond. So to overcome these challenges and to be a successful company, we believe that technology and innovation will play a critical role and they need to be leveraged effectively to increase the overall capacity and the competitiveness in the long term. There's certainly no free ride for technology uh, new technology development requires major ongoing investments and significant human energy. It also requires collaboration and partnership among stakeholders. When I say stakeholders, it means clients, we, which is the oil company here, the service company. We call it provider, uh, regulator, DMF, 
uh, academia, institutions, and governments to really work together and develop the technology that meets the, the global needs. Many energy companies, including Chevron, believe that the business performance can be differentiated from others through technology. Therefore, technology strategy has been clearly defined and elevated to a major business strategy. Collaborative uh, technology models is integrated across the enterprise value chain to create a competitive edge, inspiring innovation, and delivering full research and development support for all the business segments, not just the upstream. But it should be noted that technology also creates significant value in conventional ENP, as well as in the new arena which we call unconventional, uh, alternative, and renewable business. It can increase the supply, uh, reduce the decline rate, enhance the recovery, lower the cost, and prove uh, to be a safer and greener uh, work environment. So when people think about off, uh, upstream operations, they might imagine uh, a pumping unit uh, for onshore operation or for offshore operation. We're probably thinking about production platform. And uh, these images do depict an upstream-based business. However, in reality, they also embody a suite of technologies working behind the scene. So many of today's uh, producing well are uh, driven by state-of-the-art uh, technology and system. For example, uh, seismic imaging, reservoir modeling simulation, slim hole well design, and smart completion, artificial lift, advanced stimulation, secondary tertiary uh, recovery techniques. Remote sensing, uh, that's an, uh, the new one that's coming to the market. You probably heard about digital. Uh, oil field, well surveillance, uh, equipment decision support center, where you link all the uh, real-time well data to the office support center and start analyzing uh, which uh, problem is occurring with your well and try to be more proactive and manage your, your well more effectively. So we improve uh, performance of the produ producing assets by uh, systematically identify opportunities and implementing solutions that improve the reliability and optimize the cap capacity of wells and facility. Our technology goals are focused on providing real solutions that intersect with business needs. An important challenge in our best business is really try to getting more out of what we have in a safer way, and very importantly, without impact to the environment, which is the theme of today, and probably the most important as the lowest cost. So Gulf of Thailand has a very unique and very complex operating and geological environment. Certainly, uh, most of us here are known, uh, know that uh, oil and gas reservoir in the Gulf of Thailand is very small and not very well connected and requiring intensive capital investment to maintain the production level. All the produced hydrocarbon will be uh, asked, not mandated, to, to, to be sold at domestic uh, uh, refinery or the market under the long-term uh, sales agreement. The price we have is probably not the highest, but certainly it provide a good economic return on the investment. Uh, safety and environmental standards uh, closely uh, regulated by DMF <laughs> to ensure safe and uh, environmentally sound operations. So for over three decades of uh, operating experience of Chevron in the Gulf of Thailand, and we try our best to leverage uh, technology innovation to make sure we complete our business mission. And uh, I can share with you some of the key attributes that we have been using very successfully in adding value to our operation. Uh, we have uh, simplicity, uh, repeatability, 
uh, portability and scalable, and last but not least, the lowest cost. I have some specific example of technology application and innovation that uh, we have been successfully applied in all the functional area in our field. I will give you some example. For example, in drilling, we have reduced uh, development well construction time from uh, over th uh, 60 days in the uh, early 80s down to about uh, six, well, uh, six days nowadays without hardly any dry hole, no major incidents, and the lowest cost per foot. We are very proud in our position this day that we are leading the industry in terms of drilling performance. And the safety performance continue to improve at the world-class world level. We have achieved the lowest uh, recordable injury rate last year, so it's the safest year ever in the production history of the uh, Gulf of Thailand. And this performance are achieved through technologies. And I can give you some of the technology that we have been using successfully. For example, a PDC bit, the synthetic-based drilling fluid, top drive system, a 3D seismic slim hole motor wall, well-designed splitter well head, uh, measurement while locking, uh, while drilling and locking while drilling, and most importantly, the offline uh, pipe handling and locking capacity under rig floor operation, uh, surface uh, related uh, 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 removal uh, seismic processing, uh, seismic imaging for rock and fluid identification. That's, that's some of the examples we use in drilling. Uh, reservoir management is another area that we feel that uh, technology has been deployed very successfully and our production decline rate has been reduced uh, significantly. We achieve a longer plateau rate. The forecasting accuracy uh, using our innovation system is very well within the range. The recovery factors from reservoir is now increasing by 5 to 15 percent depending on what technique you use. Uh, Several examples I can give you tonight is the, uh, the advanced case hole locking, the water flooding, the horizontal wells, uh, seawater uh, injection mobile system, the fiber optic for downhole monitoring, uh, high temperature memory at PLT, a, uh, the latest uh, version of uh, water flood surveillance on optimization, uh, the part of the eye field, the water shut off, the unloading unit, booster compressor, so on. So there's so many uh, technology that can be applied very successfully in the Gulf of Thailand. And uh, I think you just need to be mindful on what is fit for your uh, environment. I would give you some uh, additional information on the facility engineering arena. A critical innovation and technology have been deployed to reduce and control uh, capital and operating costs, reduce the cycle time, improve the safety and reliability, including the environmental performance standard. Uh, several examples, uh, the part, uh, the alliance the, for fabrication, we call it CUEL concept. This is a new, new way of, of working together with our service provider to come up with a very uh, robust business model in terms of providing flexibility in your construction and uh, provide you a good cost. The integrated wellhead platform design is another good example that we can have a much, much less lead time to fabricate and install. Now we can achieve 20 months lead time and we have a lot of uh, flexibility whether we can use this design for oil or gas platform and we can vary the water depth between 150 to 250 of uh, 240 feet with a very short notice within six months before the installation. Uh, dynamic positioning, uh, derelict uh, lay bash, thanks to EMAS for providing this technology to us. We are using this bash very successfully in laying the pipe and without worrying about the anchor uh, risk that might damage the pipeline. The produced water reinjection, this is another one that we try to 
uh, control the impact to the environment. And the equipment decision support center that I just mentioned. So in the future, we are looking at many, many innovative technologies, including compact modular reusable facility, multi-phase metering, uh, low cost decommissioning and abandonment process. So I think the point I try to make is that the technology and innovation can help us improve the work standards and make us very competitive in the future. So ladies and gentlemen, i like to conclude my talk by summarizing all the key points I discussed earlier regarding the importance of technology and innovation for our upstream business. So first point I'd like to uh, iterate is the competitive pressure and the necessity to be more efficient in to improve production requires to be more proactive in seeking new solutions. We can't rely on today technology indefinitely. New technologies will help us unlock hydrocarbon resources in a way that are safer, more reliable, and more environmentally sustainable manner. For Gulf of Thailand environment, as I mentioned, the key attributes are simplicity, repeatability, low cost, portability, and scalable. Second point I'd like to make is the industry must continue focused effort and make ongoing investment in technology and to create the environment that encourages innovation. When I say about innovation, it that does not necessarily mean high technology, but it rather means a clever way of applying fit for purpose technology to create more value to your business. Third point, technology development to commerciality requires strong collaborative and partnership among all stakeholders. The key driver to achieve this is really human energy. So I suggest that you invest in your people, make sure they are equipped with all the knowledge and provide them with the good environment to be innovative and they will pay back. So this is a key enabling strategy for your future success. And last point, technology strategy must be uh, defined and elevated to be a major business strategy and to be integrated across the value chain of your business. By setting the right tone from the top, from your management, it will shape the focus effort on your on your future, and it drives the organization to be very aligned and build their long-term capability and competitiveness. So with that, I hope to, uh, you will find this keynote very informative and useful. I'd like to end my uh, prepared remark here, and thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. The president of Chevron.